What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So before we start off with today's video, I would just like to explain to you guys what's going on with the channel, why I've been quiet, and what's up with the new name. So I decided, hey, I'm more into everything, not just Jeeps. I'm doing everything on this channel. And there's so much more stuff that I want to show you guys and just share with you guys on builds that I do. And then I decided to just rename my channel to Mountain Man Builds, where I'm known as Mountain Man. This face, that logo. So yes, guys, we are, we've got a new name, same guy, same stuff. Well, actually, more stuff, a lot more stuff. I'm looking at something here in my corner. <laughs> I'll show you guys in the next video or two or three. But this is going to be such an epic build. I'm so excited to start with it. So let's explain today's procedure. Look at this. The Jeep is standing high, almost not even making it in the garage. So I've got an engine light. I've shown this, I think, in my first video already. That was 49 videos ago. That's hectic. That's a lot of videos. So I showed I've got an engine light coming on and now it's going off and then it's coming on and then it's going off and putting the Jeep in limp mode and it's just getting irritating. It's a P060DD. That means oil pump solenoid valve is stuck on low pressure. That means you can't drive past 3,500 RPM. So what I've got here is an old oil pump. This is just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to put this in the Jeep. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. And be cost effective as well. This might be a very cost effective solution for all you guys out there who need to do this eventually. So on this pump, this solenoid here is what normally goes bad. And I've already loosened up the solenoid. And this is what it looks like. So Jeep says, no, 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 you can't buy this alone. This needs to be mated with this and what, what, bullshit. I can't say that on this channel. Anyways, I found the guys who make this. I'm going to put a link down in the description at Amazon where I imported this for, hell, an eighth of a price than this. So this, it can't be, uh, this only fits in here. No, this is machined. This is molded. So definitely not the case. I'm just going to be replacing this today. Not taking this out, leaving this in because your pump is still good. The, the, if your pump is going, then you'll definitely know that your pump is going. But if this is going, it's just going to be a little error code, nothing else. But I'm replacing this today. So first off, start by drawing my old oil. And then we're going to take off the upper sump and not the lower sump. The reason is you need to get your oil pump and the lower sump sits right about there and you can't access it through that hole. So remove the upper sump and then you're good to go. And I'll show you guys what RTV to use on these Jeeps. I found the best stuff on the market. It is amazing. So yeah, we're dragging on this video. Let's get to it. So I didn't know when the man's about to get serious. He uses a manual. <laughs> so guys, I've got this manual. I'll share it in the link down below of what to do to take out the, the upper sump and uh, like this they say it's not relevant it doesn't you don't need to do this so guys this will help you just to get all those small bolts and stuff so I skip the page the hanger no need to loosen that you just need to loosen the hanger like these bolts if you don't know where they are and you try and pry this off you're going to damage something so let's get to this. I'm going to use this manual and um, yeah, get this over and done with. Okay, so we're going to start by loosening the bolt there for the dipstick. Okay, so next, remove these plugs. I've only got one left, that's not an issue. And then we're going to remove these four bolts right there. Okay, these are two nuts with studs and then you have to remove the studs 
and these are just two bolts and they're also going to remove the M6 bolts that's going in here. Next it shows to pull that plug out, that'll be easy. And we already removed these two, so that was fun. And then we're going to remove all of these. And there's 19 of these M8 bolts. And then we're going to fry them. This thing's been taken off before and they did put RTV on here, but that's also from Jeep, so I'm not sure if it is from Jeep or not. I'm going to have to hit this a little bit from the top to get it out. So right in front of me, in the shadows, there's a little hole there, or a little thing standing out, and we're going to eat on that from the top. There's nothing else holding it in place now. So I'm gonna place, I'm just gonna place this camera upside down so you guys can see the action shot when it falls. All right guys, so you can see the sump is out. So what's next? Next we want us to unplug the original solenoid. So we'll do that. I've seen some guys struggle here for many minutes. Take out that little spring that holds the plug in place. Not an issue at all. And then take it out. So next step is they want you to remove the pump itself. But we're not going to remove the pump. We're just going to pull out this plug, take it all the way back and remove it. So this is where it gets dangerous, it's raining oil. And then if you look up here, there's the solenoid that we want to replace. So not difficult to get to right now at the moment. The only thing that I can see might be a little bit of a struggle is to get that plug back in there with the limited access that it shows me. And also I see some crud on here. I might want to clean that off. And also maybe this pickup as well. Don't pick on me, please. Yeah, and then also the gasket sealer. We'll have to take it off. Take it off very nice and clean. Make sure the surfaces are very clean. And so I've got that oil leak in the front. And I was suspecting that it might be leaking from this pan. But it seems it's not the case. So it might be the front. We'll see. But anyways guys, this is what your engine looks like if you open it up. You can't see anything much because you have to take off this cover as well if you want to go digging deeper. But we're not going to do that. No way. Okay, so take out the plug is not an issue. But now to press it into the engine compartment is quite an issue. And then take this out. There's just a little pin here. Pull it out. And then this should free up the solenoid. Like that. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It's dripping on me. So yeah, I'm gonna battle with, try and get that in quickly. Take out the solenoid and I'll show you guys the new one. Okay guys, so this is where I'm at. This plug is 
and you're on the other side of this bump and obviously I can just cut those wires I'm not going to use this again but how do you get the new one in? so what I'm going to do now is just loosen this bump and see if I can pry it down just enough so I can get this plug through because there's a little bolt there that's in the way and stopping the plug from pulling out so I'm just going to loosen this bump and see if that will work at all okay guys so all you have to do is just loosen this pickup and these four bolts and then the solenoid will actually just fall off like it did and now I'm going to show you the new one and we're going to put this in again okay so my GoPro I saw I had a little bit of oil drop on there anyways all solenoids and this is the new one so you get packaged it's from Dorman themselves so there's the code as well I'll put it down in the description I'll even put the Amazon link down in the description so they can compare the two exactly the same obviously the one is just cleaner just to show you guys how much I paid for this on Amazon looks like my camera won't focus on the mounts but anyways I'll read it to you so the total for the part was 41 52 cents dollars and then shipping and everything was 14 dollars 50 something and then total was 63 dollars that equals to about a thousand bucks so i can be more happy because it saves me a lot of money so let's put this bad boy in now exactly same procedure as we took this one out and then we'll be good to go i'm just not sure you guys my new project coming up oh it's gonna be amazing anyways let's put this in got both surfaces clean got most of the silicone off on both surfaces and um, hopefully most of the silicone out of here so this is the RTV that we use um, Victor Rhines 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 so oh, German I think yes made in Germany this stuff is awesome so already I have one that is open so I'm not gonna open another one if I've got one and uh, yeah this stuff is just it's really really good stuff um, I've had bad oil leaks before and with this never again all right guys so that was much easier than I thought it's going to be um, I'm just going to pull it down now and wait about two three hours uh, Just for the RTV to cure properly and then we're going to change out the oil filter and of course My favorite put back some Ravenel goodies. So this is what I use in this Jeep. It's a Ravenel DXG 5W30 so it's got this USVO technology, which is ultra strong viscosity oil but it's got like a love saber on it because my Jeep has already got almost 150,000 kilometers on it I like to protect it even more and when people do 10,000 or 20,000 mileage intervals I do about 7, 8,000 just to be on the safe side I did dry out the old oil and it doesn't look bad uh, good, this oil is going to be good I'm probably going to use that old oil just for startup projects like this one here in the corner make sure you hit the subscribe button not to miss this this is going to be epic guys all right so let me pull this down and then i'll catch you guys in a few hours it's all right guys so while i was waiting three hours for this rtv to to fully cure and uh set i changed the oil filter so long and now like I said, I'm going to put in this Ravenel. 
So I just want to show you guys how easy it is to actually work on the Ravenel website. So let's have a look. So once you're on Ravenel's website, just cars, and then we go to the make, you choose your vehicle. In this case, we're going with Jeep. And from there on, we go into the model, which will be a Wrangler JK. And then just the type of vehicle, we've got the 3.6, obviously. You click your search button, and it will throw out all your oils, engine oil, diff oil, transmission oil, whatever you want to know. So we're going back to the engine oil, and there's plenty of types. This is what we choose. And then once you click on the image, you can get... You get all your information you can add to the court, it's that easy guys. guys so I just want to show you one more thing my old alternator is back and just check this it looks mint it looks exceptionally well so what my friend did actually was take out the diodes that were stuffed and put in bigger diodes like it's 250 amps now this this is a big 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 alternator and you can hear there's no bearing loss in this anymore. This is perfect. So I actually want to put this in sometime, not right now. I don't think I'm going to video that. That's pretty basic just to do and um, don't want to waste you guys time. So guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Please comment down below what you think of the new name of this channel and the direction I'm going to put this in as well. DDJ will still be there. DJ is a business name and it's going to be making hard top lifts, it's going to make bumpers, accessories for Jeeps, whatever, and you even can get spare parts from us. And then Mount Man Builds is just going to be YouTube related. I'll probably start an Instagram on that and a Facebook, we'll see. We'll see eventually. But it's more aimed for entertainment for you guys and the epic builds that we're going to have, like that, right there. So let me just give you a hint on that. It's got two wheels <laughs> and then I've got another bolt on the other side just waiting a really simple bolt very stupid it's, it's just gonna be a time-lapse of whatever it's gonna be epic as well I know you guys will actually love this and I hope everybody's going to appreciate that and the time it's going to take to do it as well so like I said I just I just want to Bring this channel to another direction and make it more entertaining for everybody and instead of just working on jeeps because we have also this volvo we've got my friend's pj which is it's short for a pajero and uh that is just an awesome build as well so thank you guys for watching i do really appreciate it i hope you guys keep safe cheers